Good day class! We are here again to study a brand new lesson entitled, ICT Related Legal Bases, Understanding Laws That Govern ICT Use. Let's start! For the content standard, demonstrate an understanding of ICT related legal issues. For the learning competencies, distinguish ICT-related legal bases and their consequences. For the learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to identify key ICT-related laws in the Philippines, understand the purpose and provisions of each law, analyze the consequences of violating these laws, promote responsible ICT use. For the overview, let's answer this question. Why is it? Laws in ICT are important. 1. Protects privacy and digital property. 2. Ensures safety from cybercrimes. 3. Encourages responsible online behavior. ICT laws protect people's rights in the digital world. As we use the internet daily, there is a risk of abuse such as hacking, data leaks, or online bullying. These laws establish rules and consequences to ensure that ICT is used safely and ethically. For the first law, we have Republic Act No. 10844 or the DICT Law or the Department of Information and Communications Technology Act of 2015. Purpose created the DICT as the main agency for ICT development in the country, oversees internet policy, cybersecurity, e-governance, and digital infrastructure. Key sections of RA 10844 Section 4 Mandate Ensure universal access to quality, affordable ICT services. Promote digital literacy and investment. Support e-government and e-governance services. Section 5. Powers and Functions. Enforce cybersecurity programs. Formulate ICT standards and policies. Protect ICT consumers' rights. Section 6. Organization. DICT is led by a secretary, undersecretaries, and assistant secretaries. For a sample scenario about DICT law, a public school receives support from the DICT to improve its internet connection and provide digital literacy training for students and teachers. Teachable point, the DICT helps schools access better ICT tools and learning platforms. Next is Cyberbullying Law, or other termed as RA 10627 Anti-Bullying Act of 2013, applies to K-12 schools public and private, includes cyberbullying or bullying through digital platforms, acts of bullying done via social media posts or messages, text, chat, or email, online forums, games. Schools must take disciplinary action and provide psychological support. Example, if a student creates a fake Facebook account to mock a classmate, this is cyberbullying. Sample scenario, a student creates a fake social media account pretending to be a classmate and posts embarrassing content. The school investigates and disciplines the student. Teachable point. Cyberbullying is punishable and schools are required to act on it. Next is Data Privacy Act of 2012. According to Section 
2. Declaration of Policy It is the policy of the state to protect the fundamental human right of privacy, of communication while ensuring free flow of information to promote innovation and growth. The state recognizes the vital role of information and communications technology in nation-building and its inherent obligation to ensure that personal information in information and communications systems in the government and in the private sector are secured and protected. RA 10173 or Data Privacy Act of 2012. Its purpose ensures the protection of personal data handled by companies, schools, or government. Applies to both digital and paper based records. Penalties Imprisonment One year up to three years. Fine 500,000 pesos to 2 million pesos. Example Sharing a classmate's phone number or ID photo online without their consent is punishable. Remember, it is illegal to collect, share, or use someone's personal data without their permission. For the sample scenario, a student shares a screenshot of a classmate's grades or personal details in a group chat without permission. Teachable point. Sharing private data without consent is illegal and punishable. Another is intellectual property rights. The state values a strong intellectual property system to boost creativity, technology transfer, investment, and market access. It protects creators' rights while ensuring that intellectual property serves the public good. The government also promotes easier registration processes and stronger enforcement of these rights. RA 8293 Intellectual Property Code Its purpose Protects original digital content such as Apps and software Videos, graphics, blogs, ebooks, songs, presentations Section 216 Civil Action Owners can file lawsuits for damages if their work is used illegally Remember, under Section 217 or Criminal Penalties there are fine about 50,000 to 1 million pesos and imprisonment 1 to 9 years. Example, downloading pirated movies or installing cracked software is a violation. For the sample scenario, a student copies an online infographic from another creator and presents it as their own in a project without crediting the source. Teachable point. Using someone's work without permission or proper citation violates copyright laws. Now let's try to answer the following questions. 1. What law created the Department of ICT? 1. The answer is letter B. R1084-4. 2. True or false, cyberbullying is not covered by any Philippine law. 3. Correct. The answer is false. Three, what law punishes unauthorized sharing of personal data? Very good, it is RA 10173. Four, which government body was created under RA 10844? Excellent, it is the DICT. What is the main focus of RA 8293? Correct! It is letter C, Intellectual Property Rights.